Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can easily convert email messages into PDFs using Microsoft Outlook 2016 through 2010. This can be helpful if you want to archive your email messages or if you want to be able to access or search email content while offline. To convert a selected email message or multiple selected email messages into a new single PDF, open Outlook and select the message or messages to convert. Then click the Selected Messages button in the Convert button group on the Adobe PDF tab in the ribbon and choose the Create New PDF command from the drop-down menu. In the Save Adobe PDF File as dialog box that appears, select where to save the new PDF file. Outlook will auto-generate a name for your file based on either the email's subject line or the name of the Outlook folder within which the selected messages are contained. To name your file something different, type a new name for the PDF file into the file name text box. Then click the Save button. By default, Outlook will display the new PDF after it has been generated. Note that this PDF shows the email in a PDF portfolio with a pane at the top which shows any individual email messages contained within this single PDF file. At the bottom of the view, you can see the content of the email message selected within the listing of messages contained within the portfolio at the top of the window. A PDF portfolio lets you append emails into the same PDF file, but keep them separated as individual messages within the file, which can be useful for consolidating messages by conversations or threads into a single PDF for easy searching, documenting, and archiving. To append existing email messages to an existing PDF portfolio, Select the messages to append within Outlook. Then click the Selected Messages button in the Convert button group of the Adobe PDF tab in the ribbon. At the bottom of the drop-down menu, you can see the five most recent PDF portfolios created. You can simply click on the name of a PDF portfolio listed here to append the selected messages into that PDF portfolio. To append the message to a portfolio not within this list, select the Append to Existing PDF command from the drop-down menu. Then use the Select PDF File to Append a dialog box to navigate to and select the PDF portfolio into which you want to append the selected messages. Then click the Open button in the dialog box to append the messages into the selected PDF portfolio. You can increase the number of recently accessed PDF portfolio files that appear in this button's drop-down menu by changing the Show This Number of Recent Archives number setting on the Settings tab of the Acrobat PDF Maker dialog box, which will be discussed in a later lesson titled PDF Settings and Automatic Archival in Outlook in the next chapter. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.